Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Andrea Brexley Lover. But right now, we have begun our assault on the forces of Castle's Legion, and I guess the Lanius Legion as well, but uh, we're doing all right. We're definitely doing all right. It looks like the NCR is slowly beginning to lose, which does kind of suck, but you know, whatever. Um, but we'll see how far we, how we can go, how far we can get out, so. Um, Got a few comments to go through as well, which would be neat, and such as, I'm pretty sure some of the new 4.1 focus trees, like the Max and Expedition, Eagle, Rock, and Robot City, started off as sub mods before being integrated in the mod itself, which is pretty cool, yeah. I like, I like that idea too. I like it a lot. Um, someone says, uh, yeah, just someone said, was replying to one of my comments, it would be a terrible loss to have to put down our brothers. It would be much better bringing them back into the fold. And of course, you know, if things happen, we have enough guns to put things down, so. Um, but yeah, overall, not bad, not bad whatsoever. Um, but yeah, just killing these guys off, probably the most important thing for us to do, really, so. Um, uh, let's take a look, see. So right now, we are currently doing Scribe Industrial Insights, we just finished that, I'm going to pave roads as well, so. Um. Awesome. Yeah, looking on that border, not bad. Not bad. Bell's Ranch. Oh, that was pointless. Well, this came back. Also, it's not looking good over here. Uh, we need more caps. Not good. Now, I always hate fighting down here because there's a, there's a waypoint here. And there's a point here, too. Which is going to be kind of driving me nuts to try to cover that hole, but whatever. And now we're there with the air adoption. It's pretty neat. So, uh, they have up to 72 divisions, which is not bad, but they have 2,000 manpower left. Legion has 23,000, which is not really all that good. I guess there are Nova Triori over here, and there are also Nova Triori, which is roughly about the same amount of manpower that we have. Wow, look at all those divisions. We just circled. I can't speak. Six divisions up here. But we have 11 uh, plus. 11 plus 3 is 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 plus 26 is like 43. 43, that's insane amount of number of divisions we just encircled. Which is great, but like, oh my gosh. Just gonna kill them all off. I love it. Wow. Wow. We deleted more than half of their army's divisions. Jesus, that is awesome. Um, at this point, we're gonna do this as well, because we have too many holes in the line. Um... You guys come back over here. You base yourselves over here and do that. At the very least, we're going to take at least all of the Legion. Uh, they took out Diana, which does suck, but whatever. And then you guys get down here. You guys will be the main front. Main force thrusting into the Legion. So, yeah, right there. Go tomorrow. Nice. These guys are going to lead the way, hopefully. These guys will do okay. Um, simulation, 59. Uh, that's quite a few guys. Go and do that. That's fine, whatever. Whatever, paved roads would be nice. Airship down, might as well. If you want to do this again, please go right ahead. Nice. After that one, sealed hangers. Spot on the conquered robot city territory, paladins stumble upon something. I wonder what that something is. Alright, so I'm gonna have to have you guys come over here too. Take half of you guys over here too. Especially once these guys get over there, these guys can break through there too. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. So, 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 so nice. The fate of the Vault City. Nice Pandora's box. God, I hate this part. Not very much, it's fine. Yeah, when they just pop out like this, I hate it so much. Um. Bro, come on, man. Let's clip here. Just cut them off that way. That'd be good. Well, I guess you really can't cut them off like that, but whatever. Um. Let's go do that, I suppose. Oh, four divisions over here. Oh, all the sure are over here too. Nice. Nice, so that frees all you up, which is really good, so you guys can come back over here and do that. Nice, 
Come on. Kill that division off before they... Oh, come on. Bro. I hate these waterways. Oh, they're Alex Expedition East. Andrew, a look at outside. A trudged quietly between the canyon walls. Outside took up the lead as he walked this path a dozen times. Half a dozen times already. He was relaxed to the point of annoying Andrea, who clutched her rifle sternly, scanning their surroundings for the upteenth time. Proctor Elric lagged behind, expending half of his breath, complaining about the fact that he didn't make such a journey in the first place. I don't see why you can ask any other scribe to come along on this. Outsider chuckled, perching on a rock in a mocking triumph, while glancing back at the tr scribe. Because you're smart and you can use exercise. Elric simply grumbled at a curse and retort, taking another long swig from one of his can six canteens. Her patience shorting. Andrew finally spoke. How close are we to this discovery of your... She was cut off short as they created or crossed the ridge and saw it. Before them stood the massive skeletal remains of an airship draped with tattered canvas and the ruined remains of Brother Insignias. Nearly a century ago, the Lost Souls chapter sent a minority group of the Brother East to investigate the remaining mutant threat, fleeing after the master's defeat. No word was ever received from the West of their fate, but this wreck seems to be the grave marker for the expedition. Judging by one of the terminals Elric had recovered from the wreck, darn durable things they are. They indicate that after arrival, Brother forces occupied a nearby Air Force base and attempted to use it as headquarters. They seem to have abandoned the airbase as well, but they left behind a lot of working aerial technology that we can repurpose for ourselves. Establish base camp nearby. And dropping feet first. Power armor is incredibly versatile, and not just for ground operations. Trigger paladins and air assault tactics could give us a definite advantage. Absolutely. Bro, you want to go or what? Y'all gotta go. Go, 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 go. Come on, get in there before they get in there. Yeah, good. Keep coming, god dang divisions. I think 32 left. Legion is roughly 300, which is insane, but, but it makes sense. Unfortunately, it makes a lot of sense. Um, crap, I deleted the wrong ones. God dang it. Well, well let's take a look see here first. So we've done what percentage? 79%. That's actually really good. That infantry are definitely struggling up here too, which sucks. Pristine relics. In the form of robot city territory, Scott's have found an, iron field, an airfield, untouched by war, but still neglected. Well, sealed inside. <clears throat> the hangars, they found a small field of cargo planes, mostly preserved for the elements. Well, I'm sure we'll find out use for them. Oh. Well, okay. Well then. Come on. Oh, uh, come on, NCR. You gotta be doing better than this. Wow. Mexico's not doing bad. I hate painted rock. Bruh. Help them out as much as I can because my god, do they need help or what? Father's well, Apocalypse. Um. Yeah. Well, I know it's better to not let them come and do good, but whatever. Just really waiting for these guys to hurry the heck up. Force it. Get down there and circle them, kill them off. Steel Rain, designing a specialized parachute system for paladins and training them for airdrop situations will allow them to perform dangerous deep strike operations with precision with when called upon to do so. The Codex make Max calls this maneuver. Not really using pair droppers, but that'd be cool too. Wreckage inside. Sending out a team to examine the wreckage can give us a clue as to what happened. Good, this is exactly what I did it. Are you freaking kidding me, you son of a rock sucker? Just don't waste our time like that. I hate, hate, hate that so much. Keep on circling though. I mean, Savage Leader will be good for that person, too. Very good, actually. Nice. Keep it circling. The past reveal. After a proper investigation, the cause of the airship's failure, something caught the gas inside the main air balloon on fire. Resume it must have been one of the storms prevalent in the Midwest. 
The lighter but flammable gas is giving the airship the range they would need for the original expedition. It certainly is not worth the deaths of those on board. Our scouting efforts have not revealed nearby rocks, though. So the rest of the fleet must be survive. For how long and how far away they are now, we can only speculate. Knowing all this, though, not needing a long-range airship, we can repair the wreck and fill it with non-flammable gas to use for our own purposes. A fine addition to our arsenal. Aero tactics. Having a number of our knights trained in aerial combat using pre-war manuals will give them an edge over most other wasteland efforts to gain air supremacy. Nice. Very nice. Hey, an encirclement. Nice. Good. More, 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 more. 22 divisions left. Once we defeat the core, that'd be great. Honestly, with you guys, I'm just going to tell you guys do that. We all hold. Just hold. Don't lose. Just hold. Do the best you can. Let these guys do all the dirty work. Power armor lead. Patriotism. War propaganda. Sure, we could use more war support. Why not? Oh uh, yeah, we could kick them out, but you know what, let them come in for now, they're trying to help out the settlements and whatnot, and that's kind of the big idea that we want to achieve right now anyway, so. But we could continue to decore more stuff, I suppose. Number four. Oh, this would be good decor. Oh, eight, huh? Oh, there you go. Kiowa. Nice. A little more manpower is good, too. Always good to get more manpower. Air power. Um, let's take a look, see, there you go. With our recent aircraft discoveries, we have a unique opportunity to specialize in one way or another. Our efforts to improve the overall effectiveness of blimps or cargo planes. Well, I don't really care for either one. Probably cargo planes? Probably. Colorado Brotherhood. With them conquering our fallen brothers and sisters, avenge we now have regained our loss forever. Colorado's will now be ours and forever. I read all these last time. If you read these again, please go ahead. Our war games with these guys require a second chance. Iron scraps. I read some last time too. Decades of raiding with a focus on advanced armor, but a lot of battle alliance acquired an impressive stock of resources and manufacturing set up, set up to repair these suits of armor. Pretty much, man. Nice. Attacking over there, which is kind of okay, but need more divisions, of course. Some recon, maybe. Some extraction. Get to the pass, get to the pass. They have only 16 divisions left, then we gotta kill another 400. Um, oh, we did get, oh, they are attacking now. Nice. Look at that air XP. Good God. Oh! Prepare for promotion. Bring the highest ranking members of the expedition back to the Maxim Bunker had taken some time, but Angie knew it was necessary. Her title was all but official confirm, of course. And the victory over the hangdogs and under the brothers doubted her ability to leave. I was right, Angie amused herself. All her planning and strategies had been vindicated. It's only been easy, but they had been won. But they had won. Sitting in course inspecting herself in the mirror, it felt strange being out of her power armor. It had been a constant in her life since her retreat from Debra without the added higher perspective felt strange. Scoring her shoulders and smoothing some creases under new robes at office, Andrea stares into the reflection. On short notice, she had at least managed to acquire an outfit fitting an elder of the Brotherhood. It fitted well enough, the woman before her looked the part. Tucking her straight hair away behind her ear, she nodded to herself. She was ready for the ceremony. Um, what are these? Defender home. Oh, this would be kind of nice. We're already thousands of miles away from Lost Tales. We can retreat, run, and expedite ourselves no more. Either we will win or we'll die without our, with our feet planted in the soil. Elder Brixley. No guy honor except the role of elder, Andrew announced to the gathered brothers before him. The ceremony was taking place inside a room and usually set aside for strange meetings. Or strategy meetings. I promise this newly formed chapter with all my strength and wisdom. I will not allow the tragedies of the past to find us. Our victories have proven this fact. Colorado will know the might of the brotherhood forevermore, as Andrew shouts. These last words she raises her fist into the air. Not the traditional elder induction speech, but the reaction was rather constant or instant. The gathered brothers raised fists high with cheers and shouts of affirmation in response to her words. 
Uh, Andrew could feel the smile forming on her face and the pride swelling in her chest. They trusted her. She couldn't ask for better brothers to leave. At the back of the room, one of the doors leading in opened, and a knight stumbled through. Elderly shot a barely audible with the celebratory shouts. Raising hand for silence, Andrew beckoned the knight forward from behind the crown. What is it, knight? A terrifying report. The monster from the south. When the team, first team failed to report back, we assumed they'd run into trouble. Knight outsider took the team south to see if he could find out what had happened, the knight explains. Andrew and the room cleared of all but the most senior brothers, their hands on either side of the map they had brought out to help visualize what was being explained. That's when they encountered this force, Andrew asks as she taps into the map. Yes, Elder. Outsider says he hasn't had, seen a force of travels at act this way. We are organized in great numbers, with all with matching armor. An army is how we described it, not some raiding party. Andrew leans back and puts a hand on her chin. Another challenger for the dominance of Colorado. That's so soon after the hangdogs. We haven't had that time to secure our position here, but it's not like we have a choice, she, she thinks to herself. Glancing up back towards the gathered paladins and knights. So be it. Well, we shall face a threat with all our strength, send these barbarians back to their huts and show them this our land. Add victorium, Andrew announces to her brothers who take up her cry. The strength of the Brotherhood will prevail. Emergency recruitment. One tension wastelanders, rough and tumble mercenaries, girls of settlers, all be called to the front to defend against the dreaded monster of the East. Requisition caravan guns. There are various well armed caravaner companies that patrol back and forth around the Colorado territories. They might grow up and moan and groan when we come to requisition the best of their weapons, but surely it's better than living under the Legion. Oh, what is this? Vault 0000. Signs of an ancient battle against a machine menace taking place in the streets of Denver have led us to a cracked vault, or a cracked open vault near Colorado Springs, sending over our paladins. Up the mountain, though, through, we can only wonder what lies within. Ooh. The sealed dome. Back its purpose. Occupy the conquered land. Oh, boy. So nice, nice, nice. The muzzled city would be nice, too. But, you know, if you want to do that again, please go right on ahead. Ancient menace. Vault 0. That was supposed to be the name of the installation, but the information was tricky to come by. Andrew looked over the many reports, testimonies, and archives of the day. Most of the stuff was bought off to locals whose parents survived the incident, so it was both incomplete and very accuracy. She had her hands two testimonies, one uh, that seemed to completely contradict each other. One sold towards the robots pouring across the state, while the other claimed it was mutants and ghouls led by the ghoulified governor of Colorado. She sighed, taking another sip from her glass of hooch. Turning around her desk and glancing back at the massive cork board sitting behind her, it was all adorned with many pictures. Confirmed testimonials, terminal logs, and red string. Lots of red string, tying it all together in a maddeningly complicated way. They wanted to find this vault to be a lot more work. What's the way it's down there? But we did beat the Legion, so... Oh, we can't do this one yet. Oh, we're doing uh, upper levels, of course, still. Sending teams down through the breach, cursed. Or caused by what we can only assume was a tactical nuclear warhead. The only known explosive capable of putting a hole this size in a vault, we begin to explore the upper levels. Occupy the conquered vaults. Garrison in the entire New Mexico would be an incredible drain on our manpower resources, especially when we still need to secure Colorado and watch for other threats to our claim. Starting a new chapter to our south will give us an ally and keep those lands pacified. Free the slaves. Oh. Land is former capitals full of slaves still held in bondage by their masters, freeing them and relocating them to our land will weaken the powers of the remaining legion members in the occupied land. Now let's the new chapter. Given the fledgling chapter, a little more independence will free us from having to worry about our southern border. Victory overall. Huh. Hangdogs, Atlantis, and the rest of Colorado now are soon. We've proven our dumps from the city of Colorado. So. Um, we are trying to get justify on Painted Rock, too. Oh, we need to go to war with, with the dogs. Oh, we'll definitely do that. I mean, I, we're not going to have any issue to, from here on out with uh, trying to kill off enemy divisions and whatnot, hopefully. So. Hopefully not. You never know, though. Go. And sure, why not? Cool. But overall, not bad. Go against Legion sucks, all. We got the followers here, too. We have a lot of refugees. 22,000, which is insane. So. The created entrance. A nuke went off here, Andrea questions Elric as they march up the mountain. Yes, Elder. It's the only explanation for how the vault was cracked open. Glancing back to Elric, wrapped over in the armor shelf of his T-45D power armor. She frowns inside her own power armor unit. Outside was beside the two of them, one of the many brothers uncovering Andrea to the vault. He insists that when he had discovered the crater, the radiation was barely noticeable. And while Andrea trusts his judgments by how now, by now she still wished uh, he hadn't insisted against the protection of a suit. As they reach the end of the mountain path, Andrew can see the ground sudden, slope suddenly ahead of them. Peering over the edge, you can see a twisted metal opening down in a hole. That's the entrance, as far as I can tell, outside of comments as he points down to the opening. Andrew nods and says, let's not delay them. Wave a hand to the paladins and the knights behind her. She orders into the Breach Brothers. Let's find out what happened here. Drop me down the hole. Silent halls. I figured. We would need our helmet lights down here, Andrew muses out loud. The vault, after the initial drop down, was still well lit and functional from what she could tell. Lights, doors, terminals, all still working with the power. 
Her retinue was fanning out, checking corners and clearing rooms. Azir had gone down a hall by himself when Andrew's back was turned. He should be back soon, but she really didn't need a casualty this early in the exploration. Elder, if you would come over here, I think I found something, Elder called out to her. Walking over to where he was tapping on the keys to that terminal, Andrew could see that he has pulled up some information. What have you found, Proctor? Andrew asks. I believe this place is what we think it is. Pointing a finger to the screen, where at the top of the diagnostic info displayed a vault 000 was displayed in the text. Elder goes on saying the specifications of this vault are accurate. This is by far larger than any other installation built by the company. Andrew finds it funny that he can still perform a recognizable side log, glance her way before saying, though many of Vault Tech's plans before the war weren't completed. Still, if even half of this was built, this may be the biggest vault we know of. Anything relating to its purpose? Andrew asks. From the corner of her eyes, she sees outsiders returning down the hallway. Elrog shakes his head. Beside the standard survive nuclear war message, we can only find that by going deeper in. Wherever the overseer's office or the equivalent is, we would have that info. Andrew pats his armored shoulder and says, Good work, Proctor. Turning to the outsider, she asks, I assume you found the way down. The outsider gives her a thumbs up. So Andrew orders the gathered brothers. Let's move on. Outsiders found a way. Press for the rim. Oh. And of course, we'll go through all this stuff, too. See you, Doma. Well, lower levels. Descending down the elevator to the lowest level of the vault, the signs of, ba of battle became more evident. These levels seemed to be the most occupied before they solved. Cryogenic capsules for the dwellers and industrial capacity for their limited robot production. Well, look at this brother that occupied New Mexico. Richard Armistead. The Red Rose of Canada. Interesting. Found by steel. I think this is just all generic stuff, so. Yeah, that's a kind of generic one, so. That's really cool that, that, that this form. Also, we did get this uh, area too. Yeah, the Legion kind of sucked. It wasn't bad overall as long as you make it sequence, but yeah, it wasn't fun. They just have so many divisions. I mean, they were fighting the NCR too, which helped out an immense amount, but still. The rock sounds pretty good. Thank you very much. Wither Dogs, you're next. You're gonna die now. You're gonna fly now. You're gonna die now. Basically, the same thing. Ah, we don't have very much money, do we? It's alright, climb down on a ton of me. I was stuck to cool more stuff. Uh, well, the oak, why not? They got a lot of factories. Pete's, why not? We got lower levels, which is coming along very nicely. Sure, guys, if you really want to help out, that's okay. You're just not going to have a lot of time helping us out, though. Just saying. Let's the truth. The elevators are still working, or still working, had a stroke of luck. See them days of exploration. Stepping out of the guards, Andrew sweeps the weapon back and forth, scanning for threats. The deeper they've gone, the more concerned she's become. The information Elric has found was before being confirmed with every floor and room they explored. Um, this was the largest underground installation Andrew had been in since departing Lost Hills. Outsider that had volunteered to check with each floor before the main party followed. And once again, he was standing close by the elevator doors. Hey, Elric, are you going to want to see this? Elric, too, Outsider says, her face grim. Something wrong, Andrew asks. Outsider shakes his head before saying, Nothing dangerous, just found something that might tell us what happened here. Intrigued, Andrew waves Elric forward and orders others to spread out and secure the floor while they follow Outsider. He leads the two of them to a large chamber filled with rows and rows of pods, about the size of an adult human, with all bright red, red lights flashing on them. Outsider points to the closest, wants us to take a look. Andrew and Elric move towards the pod and peer down through the glass top. Tinged with frost, but still a visibly clear of the mummified human body, and a tech jumps to lay with him, frozen corpses. Andrew walked up and down the roads of pods twice, now stopping the first one and again. She placed a hand on the glass top. Anything yet, Elric? She asked, turning her head to the main man fiercely typing at the terminal near the end of the room. Elric looked back at her and nods. They all died shortly after the bombs dropped, but this terminus, terminal's time is accurate. Turning his head back to the screaming as he goes on, they managed to build this massive vault, but clearly they didn't test the cryogenic pods before getting into them. There's, long, there's a log here as well, Elder. It claims to be from the last remaining technicians, claiming that the ones who could fix the calculator all died in crypto. And he was going to try to fix what he could before his log ends. The calculator, Andrew mutters. It's been one of the names of the, th that, of the threat that her gathered reports have pointed to. If everyone in this vault had died long ago, then what has become out here, uh, here after the deaths that caused such destruction? Night, Outsider. We still have a few more levels to go. Find this calculator for me. Outsider salutes and unslings his rifle, saying as he heads out of the uh, heads out, saying as he heads out the room. You got it, Elder. Keep her still. My bad for my miss. Put on Nice. Oh. 
good, good, very good, very good, very good. And there they go. Free the slaves. Signs of battle. The first signs of incursion of this ball have been found by paladins, seemingly showing desperate defense by the robotic defenders. Nice. Ah, Realm of Dan. Oh, Realm of Dan's back, huh? Kekler's lair. Buena Vista Hangar. We learned of a side of interest to the west of Vault Zero. All former power plant was of interest to the Brotherhood in the past. It's just building up tons of cities. Can. There you go. Three guys, they just keep getting sent back and forth, which is kind of funny. And there go the Luminous Ones. Yep. We'll see about that. The Assault, huh? Or Signs of Battle. <clears throat> Plasma scarred the wall. Scattered parts of the robots. All signs pointing to a fierce battle in these cramped hallways. Uh, the fighting seemed to have been very fierce around the power nodes in the upper levels, with piles destroyed robots in these rooms. After that, the trail of destruction leading to the main elevators that access the lower levels. Whoever had to let this all down through this mass force of defenders must have been well armed and incredibly skilled. Not that loss was not sustained. Bearing the colors and symbols of the brother corpses litter the halls well. It was something of a sickening sight, and even though the filters on their helmets, Andrew could smell a putrid mix of machine oil, ash, metal, and all of the manners of horrid combat ref refuse. She wasn't the only one put off but at all, but the two knights flanking her were both tense, clutching their laser rifles closely, triple-checking every robot they walked past. <clears throat> Strangely, among the fallen and mummified bodies of ghouls and even supermutants wearing power armor and wielding advanced weapons alongside human brothers and sisters. Even the humans are strangers, though. Their bodies are not long decayed, and some are found of personal items resembling to those normally found in tribals. A uh, threat united them all. Collapse section. The curiously looking robots led to the collapsed lower level tunnels. All seemingly deactivated remotely as only some ba show battle damage. Taking caution in the effort, we can retrieve some of these robots and study their design. What do you do fine against Diana? Yeah, she has as much manpower, not as many divisions as we do. Should be alright. Calculator's lair. Everything is there at this point. The central command of the Vault Zero Pallet has begun to enter as we find something. Vault Zero Construction. From the terminals we found this vault was underfunded and delayed as the repeated drills of pre-war American even led those in the power to feel a false sense of security. It's still by far the largest vault the brother has counter, to our knowledge, and that's even that just counted the upper levels. It was built into and around an already existing complex. It was still impressive, if only through sheer volume. Plenty for our scribes to study and take notes to improve our own designs. Even underfunded and delayed, vault were the best were the best at making these nuclear-proof bunkers. Yeah. Not bad.
Helium. Arriving in Buena Vista, our paladin swiftly discovered the occupied hangar. According to the chairman of the hangar itself, this was a Helium. I demanded. <clears throat> Combat aircraft built for the war to assist Vault Zero and pacify the waste. Thankfully, it was not complete as the power plant required to finish the startup sequence was destroyed by the force of the Midwestern Brother before it could be deployed by the calculator. Eric was especially happy about the find after being led to the craft by Andrew. He spent the entire day obsessing over it. He says upon taking it apart of every piece and blueprint that is designed in reverse. Whether we can reproduce them is debatable, but learning its design will give us an edge in aeronautics research. An impressive feat of engineering, to say the least. Come on. Are these guys like horses? How are they so god darn fast in not their territory? It makes no sense. Baltic industry. Vault Zero was meant to be the nexus of reconstruction of America if their bombs dropped, even though the truth of the vaults is well known to us. It wasn't for those who fled to them for safety so long ago. While the residents of the vault also seem suffered an unfortunate end, the infrastructure to maintain their existence underground and rebuild after the war is still in place and most functional. More work for the scraps, of course. Learn about the calculator now, too. Ah, but goodbye, Heaven's Gate. Nice. Beauty Paradise, if you're going to that, please go ahead. Calculators that are victory overall, if you're going to that too, please go ahead. Seal Dome, huh? Boulder was wiped out the map during the Great War, but the Boulder Dome stood strong against the det detonation to this day. So those towers were the bombed-out ruins of the former cities is named after. Bagger's purpose. Oh, old lessons. Captain among the ghouls have been captured by our recent conquest. We have no interest in wiping them out completely. And this means that man has a valuable experience we could use. Final stand of the calculator. The lowest level of the vault at final. Andrew's flanked by her paladins as she moved into the chamber. Outside, I found. The open doors uh, were pushed through by half a dozen of her brothers who swept the room with their weapons. Falling close behind, she could see a battle scarred room with a strange humanoid robot scattered about. Uh, clear, she uh, shouted the leading paladin. The others followed in behind. Elric immediately moving to the main terminals. Outside, hurrying across the room to open another door at the end. Angel lowered her weapon and gazed down at a curious arrangement of power armored suits in a massive brain bot. The design was nothing like she'd ever seen. Elder, there's some hollow types here, all labeled. Elder called out as he got to the terminals. Andrew made her way over to him and noticed the three types resting against the console. Uh, reading the labels, Andrew could see the general, my decision, and final log placed left to right. That's the first one, Elder, let's see what these are. She says, as a proctor slots, the first slate in. The hollow type one, the general. And of course, the general. I am making these logs before I leave. Everyone has also died for this victory, and even those back at the bunker, Epsilon. I think we were too late. I was too late. Their last transmission had an overwhelming force of the calculator's robots bearing down on them, and I can't get a response from them now. It would be my first destination. If I can manage to get out of here, I can hold on to the hope of that long at least. 
Juno and Decker is also a tough dude, but some of them might have survived. A lot of my fallen brothers and sisters, I hope to return so they can be retrieved someday. I also put General Bar Barnicky with the others. I can't blame his final actions, but I still wish we could have got brought him back. Taken as a slave by the calculator is not the fate I envisioned for the man. Avenge now. They are all are, but it's such a cost. That's my decision. The warrior's decision. The tape is black and white recording with no audio source from the vault internal camera system showing a lone console in the middle of a large room, which is as recognizable as the calculator's chamber. The outer door is open, revealing a lone figure in the peculiar horn and power armor favored by the Western, Western Brotherhood. They seem to be wounded as they are limping into the room, sections of armor scorched and battered, some completely missing. Armed with a plasma rifle, they take a look around the room as if listening to something. With an angry stab of the right arm and pointed an accusing finger towards the terminal housing the calculator, they then raise a weapon and fire something out of the camera's view. The V switches to another camera in the room, showing the impacting bolts of plasma, shattering several tall glass containers with brains inside of them. As each one is shattered, the brains are instantly vaporized by the searing energy lights in the room, flicker as well as the camera feed. After the last brain jars are stored, there are a few seconds before the feed switches back to the power armor figure. They're approaching the main console of the calculator and raising the rifle. The bright flash of the discharge plasma weapon was the last thing seen before it cuts to black. Goodbye. Final log. The calculator is destroyed. For better or for worse, every moment I spent making the decision could be another man, woman, or child killed by the machines. Had to be done. These logs might never be seen by another living soul, but if they have been found, then I can't even be sure you understand what I've done. I certainly did not understand a fraction of what I do now when I first recruited from my tribe. Just please just know that what we did, I did, was for the future of everyone. Even if the w ones I personally fought for are all gone now, there must be still hope out there. I'm simply known as a warrior, and I'm a proud paladin of the Western Brotherhood of Steel. The final segment of the hall tip is a picture showing a saluting soldier in a horn power armor. A forgotten legacy no longer. Nice, the aftermath. You get Vault Zero. Look at all that stuff we get. Oh, look at that. Nice. Uh, standing in the calculator's chamber, Andrew uh, Caster gazes back and forth, noticing the shattered brain case and the melted terminal. Elra comes up behind her, shakes his head, ashamed. The power of this vault could have been turned into something much more than genocide. Andrew says nothing for a moment before shaking her head and saying, If it had been me in the moment, I would have done the same proctor. The calculator had caused too much destruction. They made the right decision. Hidden behind his visor, Elric's expression isn't readable by Andrew, but she notes the pause before he replies. Of course, it couldn't be controlled by the brother, it must be destroyed. Not exactly what she meant, but she wasn't going to turn this place into debate. Calling out to outsiders, she asks, is this, is this them? No further levels that you can find? Outsider pops out from behind a curious looking machine by the calculator's terminal and gives a thumbs up, saying, Nothing I can find, Elder. I think we all found all we can. Andrew turns to leave the chamber as she says, Let's get out of here and steal the room. We don't think anything from it anymore. Tucking the holotips into a pouch attached to her armor, she continues out, her brothers follow. Protecting humanity from the dangers of technology, of course, our mission. Making nice. With time heals all wounds, even if there are some resentments, we have managed to smooth things out with the former enemies. Oh. What are you doing in Colorado? I know business was certainly not expected to answer, but not the one that, that we will take for real seas. Uh, deter us, of course. Oh, Bagger Sector Seal Dome, nice. I guess we can do these ones too. Conquering the mountain. The radioactive mountain full of glowing ones, the primitive armor, not going to be a pleasant conquest, but Colorado must have got to be ours. Bagger's purpose. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's where the research slot is. Captain the scientists, the NCR expedition had in the care while we've learned their goal, the Boulder Dome. While the remaining NCR troopers in the science team will be kept under guard, they'll still be helpful when we finally reach Boulder. Still dumb. Boulder was wiped off the map during the Great War, but the Boulder Dome stood strong against the detonations in this day, so the towers over the bombed out ruins of the former city sustained named after. Nice. There you go. The radiated inhabitants. Glowing ones, most dangerous variant of ghouls. The ruins are full of them, and we need to clear them out. Brotherhood outpost Boulder. Finding a bunker in post war America isn't hard. Finding one that will suit our purposes will take a bit of time. Breaking open the dome. Well, the structure stood against the nuclear detonations that wiped out the boulder, and against ravages of time, still able to be breached. Entrances to the dome itself made for personnel to enter are sealed tight, and no one's been able to get close enough to, to test the strength, but we're confident with a few well placed explosives we can open one of the entrances. Circle cure. Oh, put down our brothers and sisters. Oh. We need boulder dome, we can fiz Getting down here is way. No, you can't do this. I don't think you can do this one, so. One of the many projects inside the dome was a cure for the side effects of excessive stealth boy usage. Completing it with the work ourselves, we can finally cure our lost brothers and sisters. Medical wonders. 
Boulder Dome is a wonderful wonderland of pre-war medical tech research. Getting our scrubs and the walls and work is a priority. President Zacks. Boulder Dome houses an advanced artificial intelligence, one of the many Zacks models. It seems to be in a serious state of disrepair and suffering many memory issues. Luckily for it, we have plenty of spare memory to slap into it, so we can use it for our own purposes. Establish yourselves. Clearing out the last pockets of good resistance and patrol on the outskirts of Boulder, we can ensure that the dome will remain ours. Recent decision to work with us from the Hummingbirds has been ostensibly a blessing. We'll tell them to help us do us any good for now. We can run a few military exercises with them and see if we can't learn a little from each other. What if I have painted rock? The tribe of painted rock was, for the longest time, our southeastern neighbor that's changed recently when the Chinese choir now calling themselves the Hummingbirds, recently ousted them in a military conflict. Though area is still quite raw, and some are worried an invading army could sweep them through any minute. So, we'll help the choir fortify the border. Fortify core territories. Our position on Max and Bunker is tenuous at best, and it could easily be undone if a large army enough challenges in the field. Plans to fortify the border have long been played with a lack of manpower, of course. And as you find, has resolved itself with the help of our new allies in the southeast with a large population of workers and laborers. Learn from the best. The Hummingbirds have an excellent grasp on the management of nature and extraction of resources from the earth. Well, they can be kind of touchy about certain methods of resource harvesting. The good news is that their knowledge covers the last few holes in their documentation about the mining practices. Now we can crack the earth better than ever before, keeping the peace. The Hummingbirds have been, over these last few months, emphasizing the role of the peacekeeper in the army. That's a notable thought and something we can capitalize on our own forces. A couple of units made up of soldiers with excellent track records will be made to embody that ideal. Recruit from the Hummingbirds. A uh, lack of warlike tendency has left a number of soldiers, warriors, and travelers in the choir feeling a bit ostracized from the community. This is a pretty sizable population of folk that generally want to get back into the fight. Under us, of course, they will and can. What is taking this one so long? Making, making nice seems to take forever. No wonder the 60-day folk... I hate these 60-day focuses, man. They take too long, and they make sense sometimes, but like, bro, sometimes it just takes too long. Abnormal Science, the Baggers. A motley crew of scavengers, settlers, and scientists sent into Upper Colorado to secure tech and study the elusive Boulder Dome after. The recent conquest by our chapter has been Maxon's goal to integrate the Baggers that had all to offer, especially in the realm of scientists. Today, Andrea and the good product of an interviewing Baggers researchers on their own ongoing projects, trying to determine which avenues of research were keep worth keeping and which were worth scrapping. It's especially annoying for Andrew, who had a little mind for pursuing the, the pursuit of science that wasn't applicable to the battlefield, but Elric seemed to be enjoying having full range over the discoveries. First of the day, had been the least impressive. Janie Badsall, an animal researcher, pitched her experiments in the hierarchies of the Yagwai native to northern Colorado. It was quickly surmised there was no Yagwai native to Colorado, and had this been a long running scheme to gain and misuse research funding, she was asked to leave. Secondly, it was Peter Belsliff, a researcher attempting to pioneer the field of robotic prosthetics. Prosthetics themselves were impressive, but the backpack mounted reactors required to run them were not only heavy, but prone to causing cancer. He, of course, was asked to leave. That left Wolf Kempor, a man of additional researcher who, to surprise Van and Elric, had come up with something quite useful a drug cocktail that could increase the wakefulness of the researchers and keep them working in the labs for far longer than Mentaps could ever. Some of the side effects made it unfit for military use, but that gets us still all the stuff. Welcome aboard. Thanks for your capital. I love it. I appreciate it. Enforce it. Make it harder for them. Nice. Well, that made it super easy for us. Which I like. Oh, 85 days, my god. That's pretty long. Pretty freaking long time. But time to record more stuff, I guess. Nice. Yeah, but other than that, um, I just read a lot of the focuses here and here. I don't mind reading the ones that are done, but like. I use consequence for some of these because that's pretty much it for our campaign. But we'll read this, we'll read this. So um, I might just use cons commands, just beeline through all this stuff and see what happens. So, but yeah, it's been a fun campaign so far. Like it's it's, it's worth playing, you know. I love what they did with the updates, the trees and stuff like that. So let's read one more and then uh, I'll use some cons commands and we'll get there and see what the other ones are like. So Camp Alpha, not Camp Beta, but Camp Alpha. And just over the outside of the overlook of the creatively named Camp Alpha, the first of many small military outposts to be dotted in and around the Boulder Dome Exclusion Zone, or BDZ, BDZ for short. So this is it, huh? Pine of the Recon Trooper Alpha. Doesn't look like much, but it's an excellent position. We've had me and dogs roaming through here since we arrived, and this base has been a commanding view of the whole area. Suppose you're right. We wouldn't just want to be stuck up here in a little radioactive homestead like this. Eight a point, but there's enough rad away stockpiling the base to get you through the first weeks of the second apocalypse. Thousands inside will be fine as long as the tours are here are kept short and the space well apart. Girl is the only side of the irradiated. To the future. Andrew opened the door of her command room and took a seat behind her desk, dropping the bundle of reports and sighing as she leans back and joins a comfortable chair. 
Uh, sitting up uh, back after a few moments, she takes a look at the first report. Dan Rivers was making his way through the former territory of the Legion of Control, making contact with the communities there. Putting that sheet aside, she picked up this next one outside her was missing again, probably heading north or east to try to find more info about the Midwestern Brotherhood. Not something to worry about, he's made it through everything so far, just like the rest of us, she thinks to herself. The next report is from Proctor Elric, now head scribe Elric, mostly the latest in the confiscation and stockpiling of technology in the occupied areas. Andrew knows that he has his work cut out for him just in Colorado, but the new chapter needs a man of his experience to help deal with anything that might crap up. Smiling to herself, Andrew reflects back on the trials they've endured to get to this moment. Her leadership had brought them from the brink of destruction from being a major power in the wasteland. There would be more to do, of course, but for now she allowed herself to relax. We made it despite all. Earthly delights. Campaign in the field carries with it a number of logistical needs, not the least of which is food now. Normally, the paladins of the Maxim expedition are now well equipped with non perishable foods, military rations, all a matter of calorically dense provisions, but then what do these run out? What if you were cut off from a friendly supply? Luckily, the choir has offered up Dawn, a psycho well tuned in nature, for cross training skills like foraging, survivalism, and other skills that allow you to live off the nature. Her training covers the basics of edible berries, how to find protein rich insects, as well as digging for roots that can be eaten or cooked and brewed into tea. She was admittedly a timid in her instruction of the battalion size group, but as time went on, she became more comfortable, aimed friendly around the rough nights. The day ended on a humorous note, with Don ma smacking a poisonous berry away from one of the senior paladins, eliciting a few chuckles from his compatriots. Oh, who knew you could eat bugs? Glowing and angry. And just stood over the Grand Town Hall of the so called contact camp. And one of the few places the ghouls and humans could trade on glow bug territory as well as mostly radiation free. Clearing the ferals from Boulder wasn't an easy task, but the more of saying ghouls had been an even harder task. Many of the ghouls resenting the outskirts of the dome being cordoned off from the private scavengers, so concessions had to be made to avoid rebelliousness. Some ghouls would be offered paying positions for work sites within the radiated zone, hauling and gathering materials, or removing radioactive waste, ditch digging to keep them busy. Though initially a tense agreement, it seems that over time things have cooled down between the locals and the Brotherhood. Tough but manageable, if it's work. Uh, inner military war games. War is just as an exercise of a learned skill as anything else, but in peacetime, how can you uh, learn warfare? War games is the answer. The recent alliance broke between Max and the choir means that some of the kings and combined arms will have to be worked out, notably the integration of sacred healers, scouts, and the like being relied upon by doctrinally uptight paladins and knights. The day started out rough with an argument between a healer and a scribe over the morphine. The morphine. The choir healer insisted that such a drug was dangerous when used too liberally, and the herbal remedy should be first relied upon, uh, while the scribe was insisted that it could be bad if it felt so good. The argument was ended by Raffman from both sides pulling the two apart and separating the workstations. All the less shouty incidents reared their head throughout the day, but most of them were short in due time. It seemed that the two groups actually wanted to work with each other. The exercise ended in a masterfully execu executed offensive, completely overwhelming the uh, team playing defender and routing them entirely. Then it was time for Chow. What is, what is an er, M R E? But I think I'm going to end it there. I mean, I'm, I'm, I think I'm done. I mean, I use consequence for these last couple of books is because I got t I'm pretty tired. But it, if you enjoy the campaign, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous Colorado chapter rest of your day.